Hey guys, welcome back here to the arena. And today I wanted to look at the mono red deck that I used in the Alchemy um, Qualifier Play-In Best of One last time, which I'm going to be using for the Best of Three Qualifier uh, that's coming up this Friday. So yeah, excited to kind of go a little bit deeper here. And before I get into it, um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing, maybe sharing it with a friend who might also like my content. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for being here, for supporting me. You guys, it wouldn't be possible without you, so thank you so much. I appreciate you. But I had a look here at some of the kind of existing sort of mono red builds in Alchemy. There are quite a few different cards, so we don't have access to Kumano Faces Kakazan. Um, we also don't have access to Play With Fire. And so those are two kind of notable um, cards that we have to find replacements for. In addition, and the festivities is not available. So I put in Tectonic Hazard, which is a slightly worse version of Enfest in the festivities, which does not hit Planeswalkers. Um, I wanted to have access to some sort of kind of AoE um, effect. And I think that three copies, I kind of, I, I originally had four, I went down to three. So I don't know if maybe I'll have to bump it back up or how big of a presence like Boros Convoke is in Alchemy or if it's even a deck. I just haven't really explored the format. But I did see that the, um, this card here, Melt Through, is just like a strict upgrade to Shock, which is what I had originally replaced Play With Fire with. So this is, it just does two damage to any target as an instant for one red. And then if it's a creature, it basically the damage stays on it and isn't removed during the cleanup steps. So yeah, just like a strict upgrade there. Um, and then the other card that kind of stood out here was Rally at the Hornburg. So basically just a way of getting two 1-1 one, one, uh, white human soldier tokens, and then they gain haste. Um, so basically just getting extra pieces of virtual plastic, um, which is great. And then part of the reason that... Um, you know, I included here one copy of Imidane's Recruiter. Just because since we have a couple more bodies, Imidane could be a nice top end. Um, I also added in one copy of Inti just to kind of see how it does. Shaved a copy of Fugitive Codebreaker and just did kind of sort of a mix of some one drops here since we don't have Kumano Faces Kakazan. So four Swift Spear, three Frantic Scapegoat, which I'm still sort of trying out, and then two copies of Phoenix Check. Um, I do still run the full four set of uh, Invasion of Tarkirs. I think this is still a very strong effect, and I'm hoping it'll be good in this format. And then we've just got your regular removal. We have four Lightning Strike, and then we have kind of the spillover damage from Tectonic Hazard and th four Melt Through as sort of our removal package. So yeah, excited to try it out. The sideboard here is kind of what I originally built and I think it'll be pretty good, hopefully. You've got four copies of Lithomantic Barrage for your blue-white matchups. You've got uh, four copies of Urbask's Forge for any kind of control matchup or, you know, like very um, heavy removal um, deck. And then you've got four copies of Furnace Reigns for any kind of like big creature that we can't deal with. Um, and three copies of Witch Doctor's Frenzy, which again, helps deal with larger creatures. Uh, also really good against other like go wide strategies. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a um, alchemy event, kind of see how that goes. So let's jump in. If you do really like my content and you want to, you know, leave a tip, thank me, um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you wanna leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. All right, let's jump in. So this is going to be a uh, best of one. Um, because I just want to get a feel for kind of the deck as a whole. Um, it, so I'm not going to be doing like best of three for this practice round. Um, 
but uh, yeah, on Friday, the actual play and event uh, qualifier will be best of three. So I think that the, you know, try to keep the sideboard in mind. I just, um, I would just prefer not to do best of three until I absolutely have to. But yeah, I like this hand. Let's go ahead and keep it. Looks good. Got a nice turn two code breaker into melt through or possibly monstrous rage. So I think this might be like the Amalia deck, maybe? I'm not really sure to be honest. Alright, so let's go ahead and just melt through. I'm not sure if we want to save this, perhaps, but we've got to fight through this thing anyways, so I'm just gonna clear it. All right, now we've got Codebreaker into Monstrous Rage. And this should be good uh, if they decide to double block or single block. We've got good answers here. All right, and then if they want to just do it end of turn, we can just take Tectonic Hazard next turn. So that's fine too. Okay, so this looks like it's basically a um, looks like it's like a modified convoke deck essentially. So I guess we could do this one face down. Uh, if we want to try to maybe get some more value, we could also go Code Breaker here plus Hazard and then Shove for six, which feels pretty good. So I think I'm just going to do that instead. Just try to burn them out. Indestructible. Oh wow, that's really nasty. Okay, so I think we just push. So it can become a 3-3 lifelink. Yikes.
They might be getting out of range here, unfortunately. Yeah, now they've got lifelike on both. Oof. Yeah, Arwen was a nice draw, that's for sure. It does really feel like just like Boros Convoke plus green, essentially. Alright, so now we can do Melt Through plus Foundry to get rid of this Amara. That's unfortunately going to do it there with another Arwen. But, oh well, we got, we got pretty close. We were just waiting to see if they would like play, you know, something else. They'd be tapped out. Zero and one. <clears> Hand <throat> looks great. So I'm kind of curious if like most of like the Convoke style decks are going, you know, like Naya Colors or I guess Jeskai in this case, it's kind of all over the map. But it is kind of interesting to see it so like heavily represented because it shows that, you know, like that tectonic, um, whatever it's called, uh, is definitely going to be good in this field. So here, I think, you could go Invasion to get rid of Inspector, but it's not super amazing here. Um, I might just want to do Inti to kind of get that going. Yeah, now Warden's just getting completely out of hand. They can double pump, make it an X6. I guess we could technically kill it. 
if we have like lightning strike plus phoenix check on the attack from NT, if they decide to block. But yeah, from like what I'm seeing, I definitely would want to bring the AoE spell back up to a full play set. If you were going to run Mono Red. I guess we could have discarded the Mountain, actually. But I do want to have access to 3 mana. So yeah, here I think we just attack with Phoenix Chick... Make it a 3-3, see if they block. Um, I guess we get rid of... I kind of want to keep Tark here. Recruiter is also nice, but I don't... I think we, we kind of just need, like, the... Everything else, so... Yeah, if they just take it here, we just probably just go rally. It's not great, but it's something. And this warden is just taking over the game for sure. So here we're taking two, four, five, ten. Actually, I guess I could have blocked the inspector there. I don't think it matters, but it would have been a slightly better block. So now this is a four, four. We can still get him with um, with lightning strike here. But yeah, this is pretty rough. I think we're just dead, unfortunately. A little bit too little, too late. Yeah. I think we really needed to just get rid of the warden before it was able to grow. And that is a really nasty card in this uh, in this meta for sure. Okay, 0 and 2, not looking great so far. See if we can try to kind of claw our way back here. I will admit that I do not play almost any alchemy, so I don't really know what's good and what isn't good in the meta. Hopefully this isn't like a super short run, but <sighs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend playing this deck without like me trying it, seeing if it's like actually going to be okay. I might still run it just because I don't really want to spend a ton of time trying to figure out alchemy. Okay, the hand looks great. It's a little bit reactive, but we have stuff to do.
So another situation where it would be really nice to have kind of our, our board, board wipe here. But I guess we can just go, we could go like rally, we could go, I think just invasion is fine. Seem to remember this Jun deck from uh, my last kind of go of this. So, okay, how does this thing work again? Okay, it just kind of keeps doing its thing. So I think it's just Phoenix Chick plus Lightning Strike to get rid of this thing. Um, we could also try to work on the invasion here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I kind of want to get Invasion going. I guess we just use Phoenix Trick to get rid of Tyvar, and then we could do like Invasion on Invasion, and that seems okay. Or we could just set up here with Codebreaker. But I think invasion is going to be a little better because then we can just make sure that we finish it next turn. He feels pretty good here, uh, but I do really want to flip this. So, yeah, because this way if they block, we're only pushing two. I think I just sit in Lightning Strike, to be quite honest. I can start working on this other one. Just kind of want to get it going. It's going to be really obvious what I'm doing, but I think it's fine. Guess we try to eat it, see what they got. They could have removal for sure. Yeah, it looks like they've got like the cut down or, or not cut down, but some kind of removal spell, bitter triumph, sure. Okay, so here, I guess we could Codebreaker plus Invasion. They probably just block with Primordium. Hmm. I guess actually the way to do this is Invasion plus Rally. I suppose I could have waited till post combat for that, but this is fine.
Oh, wow. Okay, so I think we just try to set up lethal in the air here. We're going to be hit really quickly. Um, we got to have some blockers. So I guess we got to gotta chump with a 1-1 one, one here. We're taking 13 as it stands. So we need, like, squeeze a block. Either that or we go for, like, Feldon plus Codebreaker. We do it this way. All right, so I think we do these five here. This goes face. Two damage. think just goes face because they can move this around so we don't care like this blocks here this blocks one of these guys just pushing face And then I guess it just depends on if they have more removal or not. <laughs> Man, this chitinous crawler is just amazing. Okay, so I think we block here, and then we can take 10, but I think we have to chump this one. I guess like we're probably not getting through their Haywire Mite, and they've got some other stuff back, so maybe if we like double block one of these yeah we've got enough in the air we can just get it done one and two on the board all right yeah that that matchup seems like it's all about just flying over for the win
Alright, opening hand looks great. We've got stuff to do. Phoenix Chicken and Monstrous Rage with a little bit of backup. It's a nice pickup. We just go code breaker here, see what they do. Yeah, so unfortunately, Monstrous Rage isn't great here on our phoenix chick they can still trade two for one um i guess we can just use melt through to get through it yeah <clears throat> i think it's okay if we push with both just getting the damage in it's not ideal but okay so now that they're not blocking I think we just push Rage here. And we probably want it on the Swift Spear. He doesn't have the one ring, at least not that turn, so not sure what he's got here, but happy to just uh, run out with Rally at Hornburg here. If they don't want to do anything, I think we're just going to go face here and see if they want to kill Swift Spear. Okay. So I think now we hold the other one here. And that's a nice pickup. Question is, does he have removal here? I think we maybe pass priority and see what he does. So I think we could easily get blown out with Monstrous Rage here. Question is, does he have one or two pieces of removal? Okay, destroy it one. Yuck. That is gross. Okay, so I think we go for rage over here and just try to like burn them out I think yeah it sucks
Yeah, that'll do it. As long as there's no counters. Got there. Two and two. Still on the board. Yeah, I think Warden is definitely a huge problem. So just having those lightning strikes is good. Um, but I definitely feel like I could use another um, another AoE spell. Alright, opening hand looks great. Got stuff to do. No turn one play, but I think that's okay. So yeah, I think we just hold, see what if he plays a better creature, and then we can just invasion whatever whatever's left over. Priest, where do you gain life? Sure. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Do we save it? Is the question. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna burn them both out. Oh, and there's the hazard. Oh well. A clean board is good. Fashion order. Sure. All right, let's just go Godric here. Removal. Nice. I will say I really like the interaction here between Godric and Rally. So I feel like maybe four Rally and more Godric's feels pretty good. So I think we just Rally to get this thing over the top. I guess we could just melt through two. We could Hazard. A lot of stuff we could do here. You know, I kind of just like the inti setup and then like pretend like we haven't got it. Just be like a little little sly about it here. And then just use melt through on their turn. Pretend like we haven't got it. Now we've got a really nice setup turn. We just rally. Yeah, this, this feels pretty good. Then we've got two dragons flying around. We can even hazard. Um, all right, let's just, yeah, I suppose actually we should have hazarded first, but ah, oh well, it's fine. Yeah, if we'd hazarded actually that would have been really good. I don't know that it's going to matter. Get rid of these orders. Let's see. And then I don't think we really need the hazard now, so let's just push. I 
But yeah, Godric feels super good here. So even though we could have pushed more damage there, it's definitely not going to matter. That's going to do it. So yeah, big changes I would make. I would definitely put in more Godricks. Have the full play set of uh, Rallied Hornburg. Okay, three and two. In it to win it. And I feel like Imidane is, is pretty good too if we've got like all four rallies. Maybe make it like a little bit more creature focused. But I mean the AoE damage is super nice. And the melt throughs seem pretty good too, so yeah, this hand looks good. I guess it depends what we draw, but I don't know which one we lead out here with. I think I'm going to lead out with Phoenix Chick, just in case it dies, then we can more easily bring it back. Okay, that's a nice pickup. Absolutely loving these invasions of Tarkir. Seems like there's a lot of creatures. So it feels pretty live in this in this meta. <clears throat> I could also see running more like Shivan Devastators, especially with Wardens, so that you can like have that initial hit on the invasion for three damage instead of two, which might make all the difference. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we can get this for four. Just scapegoat plus invasion. don't think we need to give this thing menace I could be wrong but I don't think we need to yeah that's gonna do it to fight Thunder Maw is pretty sweet All right, four and two. I think outside of Monastery Swift Spirit, like the one drops in red just, they feel a little weak, so. Yeah, but I feel like Phoenix Chick and the uh, the Scapegoat kind of get it done, sort of. I don't know how good Squee is in this meta. That's the other question. Feels like it might, might be less good than Godric. Oh, that's nice. We got a nice turn one melt through, just get it out. That's a nice pickup here. We've got invasion. Just burn it all down.
Okay, at the beginning of your end step, creature died. Target, blah, blah, blah. Do we need to kill that? Um, eh. Seems okay. So what's the play? We go Feldon plus Melt Through, maybe? I don't know that we need to kill Smeagol. It does feel good just to get rid of their stuff. We could also just go Squee and push. But something tells me that we just want to keep killing all their nonsense. So I think we just burn it out. And then push with Feldon. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Okay, so now we can squee with impunity. I don't know if they've got removal here. They might have like reinforcements or some sort of nonsense. I feel like we can't lose if we flip this, so we just push everything at it and hope it works. Like the way we lose is if we can't flip this for some reason. Cause like next turn Devastator is just the nuts, right? Yeah, they've got Crucius. Sure. Now we shoot Scrove and Face, I guess. Yeah, they're just gonna Devastator is enough just to get it done. I concur. All right, five and two. Let's do it. Yeah, I think just like the burn all their stuff down plan is really good with um, invasion. And in some ways that does make me kind of want to run like the one invasion of Regatha because it does kind of help flip the first invasion. So that's eh, consideration. Uh, hand looks great. Nice turn one, turn two, turn three. Deck is doing great so far. And I'm just thinking back to like that last game, like Squee was definitely good, but I feel like Godric would have been just as good in that case and probably better with some other situations, especially like with Flipped Invasion. Uh, yeah, let's just get this going. Could be up against anything. So I'm gonna try to flip Invasion here, just not having full information. Like, at the very least, now we can just flip it with Lightning Strike, end of turn. So that feels pretty good. Or if they just, like, do nothing, then we can just squee into it. But I kind of feel like they've got cut down here or something. Yeah, and I think it's just two mana efficient. I think we just go for it. Definitely want to push everything at it in case they've got like something. Cause like the one damage just doesn't seem to matter that much. Now we've got decent pressure, unless they've got like a board wipe here. 
Yeah, Watley doesn't do it. So now we just like lightning strike plus push. Uh, I think plus rally. Yeah, that feels good. And then just push for a lot. Even if they board wipe, we've got Phoenix check for game. Six and two. Final boss. We came all the way back from O2. What a comeback story. Never throw in the towel until it's been taken from you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like as long as we're ready for like Convoke Nonsense, we're doing okay. So maybe like the fourth copy of Tectonic, um, whatever it's called, and then maybe like Swap Squee for Godric. Godric might even be better than Recruiter here just because we're trying to flip Invasion. Although maybe just another Devastator in place would be better. Yeah. I don't think you want to overload on Devastators, but maybe a second copy feels good. <laughs> All right, opening hand looks great. Um, let's lead out with, sometimes I want to go scapegoat, but I think Swift Spear is fine because we've got stuff to do. <clears throat> and it makes Invasion better. Okay, so it's that deck again. Well, we can beat this deck with Invasion. And we've even got the Lightning Strike to finish it. Although we could use another Mountain for sure. Okay, so that was really nice. So now we just lightning strike the propagator, whatever the heck it's called. And then we get, um, I think probably Phoenix Chick going here. Maybe Scapegoat. Yeah, I could see Scapegoat being good. I think we need to give that thing whatever menace. All right, so they're representing removal for Thunderbaw, which is unfortunate. Still no. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's too bad that we uh, lost the Thunderball here. They've almost certainly got removal for it. So we got a bit of work to do. <clears throat> Double roots though is pretty nice. Um, I guess the damage here is slight, uh, it's almost the same. So I guess this turn we just rally plus lightning strike. Get the damage in while we can. We haven't got a lot of time now. Okay, so they can't XL that yet. Four blockers. Phoenix chick is hitting. We can hit for two. Can they kill us in one turn? I don't think so. Four, eight, 11, 13, 14. I think we just push with everything and then get them into lethal range. Because this way they block. If we get through with scapegoat plus phoenix check is what it looks like. Oh crap, I forgot they could do that. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh-oh. Did we just throw the game there? We might have just thrown the game. That's awkward. I thought they needed an extra mana to do that. I could have sworn that was three mana to... Exile it. Huh. Oh. Well, I guess we got the victory anyways. That works. <laughs> Alright, well, at any rate, climbed all the way back to 7-2 for defeating the final boss. Got the sweet prizes. Um, but anyways, yeah, that gives you an idea kind of what Mono Red might look like. And I guess it's uh, it's good. So um, just to recap here quickly for the deck, what I might recommend is changes. So potentially like switching out Squee and or Recruiter here with Godric um, or like an additional copy, maybe an additional copy of Devastator. I'd bring up Tectonic Hazard to four copies. Um, Rage felt really, really good every time we had it. Um, the only reason I haven't got four is because we only have like 20-ish creatures, but maybe that's enough to run four, so it probably is. Um, what else? Inti felt good, but I don't think it really mattered that game, so I think it's fine. Um, Recruiter, I could see Recruiter being good, but I could also see it just like being kind of okay and not like as amazing as it would be in like a 
traditional like um boros convoke deck so that's probably where i'd make my cuts like maybe cut squee cut recruiter add like devastator godric um you know or possibly like another like rally or tectonic hazard make a couple shifts around i don't know what else i'd cut though because like melt through was great i liked you know the number of one drops we have here so like actually having a one drop on turn one felt pretty good yeah um hmm i don't really know what i all what all i would cut here i think for sure i want the fourth hazard so i think i probably just cut recruiter put in hazard And then maybe I could also see like an argument for like invasion of Regatha. It's like another way to flip um, invasion of Tarkir, which is kind of nice. It's four to face, which can get you there. It also makes Codebreaker better, makes Swift Spear better. Yeah, I could see that. So possibly like invasion. Hmm. Maybe cut squee. Yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, I could see cutting this for like another Devastator or even cutting it for another Rally of the Hornburg. So those all seem like really solid options here. I think actually probably I would cut this for Rally at Hornburg number four, just because this is a spell, so it triggers Codebreaker and Swift Spear, and it's also creatures, so that feels pretty good. So I think I'd probably, yeah, just like maybe cut this, go to four Rally, probably run something like this. If you really want to, I could see like maybe cutting the NT and like getting like a second Devastator. Um... <clears throat> I guess you could run like four monstrous rage but i don't think there's enough creatures to justify it yeah we only have 20 creatures here when you consider the rallies so i think i'd probably settle on something pretty close to this 21 land feels right yeah all right let's take a look at the stats Okay, so this is the same deck here that I ran in the last one. Um, overall, the deck is at 71% win rate, so it's 10 wins and 4 losses. Um, the most recent event here, it went 7-2 with 78% win rate. So, yeah, overall, really happy with it, actually. Um, it looks like it only picked up losses here against, like, Boros Convoke, um, and then this sort of weird sort of Naya Boros thing. Um jund one loss there and then a loss to blue white i think another convoke deck so just having your answers dialed in for their aoe um for their lots of little guys so i think up to four tectonic hazard feels good but anyways i want to thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome and i hope you have a great rest of your day see you next time